Calvin famously called the Psalms a mirror of our soul. I, I think he probably got this idea from James chapter one where James talks about the Bible as a mirror. Um, but what he meant was just like we get a, an idea of what we look like on the outside when we look into a physical mirror, uh, so when we read the Psalms, we get a sense of how we're doing on the inside. That is, the Psalms express every emotion that a human being can experience. Love, joy, anger, hate, you name it, it's there in the Psalms. And as we read it and we put ourselves in the position of the psalmist. The psalmist often spoke in the first person, you know, Lord, I call to you from the pit. Um, and as we put ourselves there, and as we um, identify with the psalmist's emotion, and we may even not share that emotion, but even as we don't share it, we come to know where we are internally. So by reading the Psalms, placing ourselves in the position of the psalmist, taking on the voice of the psalmist, we can see whether we're moving toward God or away from him. If you're reading Psalm 119 and you know that long giant Psalm and you read oh, over and over again, oh Lord, I love you and I love your law and you're going, this guy's a fanatic, then you're probably finding out a little bit of something about yourself. So, um, so in that way, the Psalms are a mirror of the soul. But they're even more than that. They not only uh, help us understand ourselves, but they, they do want to move us toward God. Just real quickly, the Lament Psalms often start out by complaining and uh, about about ourselves and about other people out there who are hurting us and and even about God himself. But almost every psalm, a notable exception is Psalm 88, at the end moves toward confidence and praise. So even as we're calling out to God from the pit of despair, the psalm itself will minister to us by 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 causing us to, to talk positively about the Lord.